Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Ruff, and today we'll be continuing my series of discussions on, on the muscles of the spine. We're going to discuss today the piriformis muscle. Piriformis is uh, very commonly discussed and well known, and um, it starts here down at uh, the anterior portion of the sacrum. So you can't see it from behind. It's usually somewhere between S2 and S4. However, that can be variable for each individual. It leaves through the greater sciatic foramen, or the greater sciatic notch is touching up against that, and it sits right on top of the largest nerve outside of the spine, the sciatic nerve. Uh, so it, as it travels from the front of the sacrum, it, sometimes it attaches a little bit to the sacrotuberous ligament or the bottom of the sacroiliac ligament, crosses the, the a belly of the muscle, crosses uh, the back of the hip, and attaches onto the very top of the greater trochanter of the femur. Uh, so this muscle gets most of its nerve innervations, now there are some exceptions, but it gets most of its nerve innervations from the uh, L5 to S1 ventral rami. Again, there can be a little bit of uh, change for each individual, but that's going to be kind of the general idea. The sciatic nerve, this, one of the reasons why this muscle is well known is because it can be involved sometimes in uh, piriformis syndrome. And what happens in is somewhere between 10 to 15 percent of uh, the population, depending on who you believe, uh, part of the sciatic nerve uh, will go through the belly of the piriformis, uh, which can cause an entrapment that can cause pain and discomfort. And uh, this can be worked out with soft tissue therapies uh, such as Grafton technique or active release technique. And the action, or the main action of this muscle, it has many different uh, activities, but the two main important things it does is if your leg is straight uh, and extended, it will externally rotate the hip. If the thigh is bent, it will abduct the hip. Uh, thank you very much, and next time we will be discussing the rhomboids.